Welcome to the PageFly video tutorial series. In this video, I will guide you how to use Shopify product price element in PageFly. This element is designed to display the price, and the compared price, of your Shopify products on your page. Before going into the details video, please note that with our video tutorials, you can view chapters by clicking on this. A list of chapter will show off. And you can go straight to one specific part of the video quickly. Remember that, as other product elements, product price also needs to be added in Shopify admin here. You can add the normal price and compared price of the product. Now I will open one product page. On this page, there is already a product details element on it. To add the product price inside this product details, go ahead to the left sidebar, click the add Shopify element icon, and you can find the product price element here. There are two options for the product price that you can choose, product price and product compare at price. I will add product price option inside the product details. You can see the product source shows auto by default and the element will automatically display the price of the product I assigned to this product details here. If you add the product price element outside the product details, take a look at the general tab at the right toolbar. You can see there are two options for product source, auto and custom product. You can choose one product to show its price here. Click this product price element again. Go straight to the styling tab. Here you can apply the style for the element, such as color, font family, font size. Now if your product is on sale, and you want to show the pre-sale price, next to the compared price to boost sales. Access the Shopify elements category again, add product compare at price element, under the product price. And now to put these prices in the same line, you need to add them inside a block element. As I am doing. Then choose the block, go to the styling tab. Click flex here. With a wrap option, choose wrap. With align items, choose center to make these price horizontally align inside the block. Then click this price. And add a pixel value to its right margin. Similarly, I have a button named on sale here, and want to put it in the same line with product prices. Simply move the button inside the block. It's done. Finally, you also can edit the product comparative price as a product price. You just need to click the product comparative price element. Remove the line through style option here. That's it. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. These are other videos on our channel you also may need. Thanks for watching.